All right, we are back. And what have I done to myself? D2. 60 waves. Crit, bleed, slow. Okay. So beam isn't particularly good. Bolt is kind of okay. Crit is pretty strong. And we do have a while to play. I think we're going with bleed a bit. We'll put five points into slow. We have 60 waves, so amplifiers should come into play, probably. As long as I can afford them. I don't care much about pylon range. The damage is nice, but I don't think it's worth it. Traps. I am going to be using traps. Not a ton, just for the slows, really. Maybe for the bleed, but eh. Let's try this. I think the bolts are kind of important. Maybe I should be putting more points into the bolts. Let's try that. If I could survive the early game easily, which I should be able to with this dual gem, maybe I should be spending more of the skill points. But I don't really have a way to make mana during this. Those have a lot of HP. Destroying these does not get me too much. It makes it so that there's only a tiny amount coming from this side. Which could get me something. Darn it. But they're just so hard to destroy. No. There really isn't much amazing I can do. With 60 waves, I expect I could get all three of these pretty easily, but the bronze dash, I might be too busy doing other stuff. It would take a good number of bolts to get it. I am trying to get amplified towers. I don't think this is a great spot for a first tower, though. Um, no, it's okay. My trap points are pretty wasted. Okay, good to know. I get to start with a grade 6. And there aren't even Swarmlings for a while. That should make this very easy early game. How far can this reach? Pretty far. Let's just put this here, though. not send the swarmlings yet but the swarmlings are gonna end up showing up like right when the most reapers are here kind of I do have abilities that I can use though maybe I should have saved that for the swarmlings I definitely should have but it cleans up everything so quickly I'll just throw a bolt on how are you doing? 
Pretty good. Okay, cool. I wanted to use all that up so that I could shoot a couple bolts at this. Not that I really need the damage. But while I have downtime, getting some damage stored up on this pylon is good. Being a witch. Let's do that again. Cool. Now, how much can I get away with sending early? At least this much. Do I need to put a trap down anywhere? No. To put a barrage on it. Nope. Why? Because I'm going from a different game where you play press X or escape to cancel out placing something. That's why. Alright. You can have a beam. I want to send, but I would rather spend some of these abilities first. Because I am going to need to use them. Big send. And the only reason I'm sending early is for the little bit of extra mana I think I get for sending early. Maybe that's only if I enhance them with a gem. I know it gives more score, which doesn't mean anything to me. Which kind of sucks. Here, let's freeze these. Low and use a beam. It's only 60 waves. I don't care at all about the stashes, honestly. I can come back for them. for the beam. Don't think I can. Okay. I will have another freeze in a second. I did leak. shot left. Okay, I really need to explode a couple of these. I was hoping that a few of those barrage shots would get off to explode some of those really quick. That's fine. Cleaning up now. There's about to be more swarmlings though. Um, I could be using these barrage shot or what are they called? Pylon shots.
And then as long as I don't send early for a bit, I should be able to get them refilled. So maybe that's worth doing. Because this does do slightly more damage now. I kind of want to wait till there's a freeze, but I don't think it matters. Just blow some stuff up. You should have a bolt. isn't looking good. Let's get one more of these. I think this gem being fully amplified would be huge. So maybe I should have put more points into amplifiers. Look, and that one's doing 11,000. And this one's not. There it is. Okay. Now you go back to shooting stuff. I mean, the crit gem is good, so at least there's that. Maybe I should be going more crit, less bleed, higher percentage yellow. I think that does make sense to me. I don't think it's worth the mana to be sending early. What am I doing? Not paying attention, for one. So, we're gonna have a tiny bit of red mixed in with this one, but not much. Got a bunch of swarmlings coming too. Don't want these giants built up when the swarmlings are showing up. Mana's a little bit low. I will have a beam ready. left. Okay. Freeze would be nice right now. Can I use up this barrage before the swarmlings get here? I can use part of it up on the swarmlings. It's fine. But I'd really like to be using the beam. There we go. I 
I don't think I win this. I can send them back around this way, but that does not gain me much. I just leaked a bunch of those swarmlings that spawned because I was targeting that giant manually. And because I'm on a bolt shot right now. I have to blow these up though. Didn't do it. Okay, quit leaking. A bunch of these are leaking for a second time. This isn't too bad, but in a second it is going to be very bad. And there's nothing I can do about that. By in a second, I mean by like round 45-50. but I think it's necessary. Do I need to be attacking these pylons more? Probably. Yeah, I think that's doing damage to these more quickly. Take a bolt. Twenty-six thousand. That's what I'm talking about. Where was that twenty-six thousand there? Oh, it's only if I get a crit, maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, let's try and slow this group so that I can get a big group there. Try and freeze them all, and then. Hit them with these pylons. Don't have many shots charged, though. There's no swarmlings coming for a bit. Can I wait for the next freeze? I can. Okay, but this one is frozen, so let's take it out. I could have a lantern with slow right now. Not the best place for it, but it makes use of the amplifiers a bit. And I think I value that. I think. Okay, I'm waiting for the freeze right now. One hundred percent. Um, but I need to hit the giants. I mean, a bunch of these are giants. I slowed this group too much. That's a mistake. This should blow stuff up, at least. They did a good job, but not good enough. We're still only at 40 out of 60. This isn't going to work. What could I do different? I can blow up the monster nests. This is just going to be rough. If 
this was close to the end, I could shuffle them back this direction, but it doesn't help me this early. I could have had a slow lantern earlier. Does that help? I need a way to gain mana. You have to be set to structure at this point. just about to lose right now. I have gems I can sell, but that doesn't help me. It doesn't solve the problem that I'm running into right now. I'm trying to think of strategies. This one seems brutal. have all the skill points that I'm going to get, I just have to spend them differently. I don't think the bleed is super important. Okay, I'm stronger than I need to be early game. So let's try and invest that into getting more mana throughout the game. And to gems being cheaper. Hmm. I did have a good amount of points in amplifiers and not much in traps. I think these bolts were helping. XP bonus does not help. I think the lantern helps some, but not enough. Right. Um, I think this is a problem because I won't get enough mana to get a bigger gem, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. The only other thing would be building over here instead of over here. That could help. Fire's taking these two out. They didn't have such high HP. I could do it kind of quickly though, using bolts. Maybe I should be doing that instead of sending waves early. We're only at grade five now. I can't really do it quickly. Can't afford a pylon. In theory, if I can make it back to level 50, and as long as I can get this one upgraded once, I should be significantly stronger than last time. Still not strong enough, I don't think. have enough downtime and get this charged up, I could move this gem to attack these and give it bolts and beams and all that good stuff. At 
Did I really just let one of those leak? Yes, I did. That was stupid. After the end of this wave, I have a lot of downtime. This gem's too small to do any damage to those. How are you? You're full. It's doing some amount. One of the only things I can think of. Wormlings are going to be coming up. Right, I can be going more crit. I do think that helps. Or at least I hope it helps. And this time I have two towers instead of just one. I don't think having two towers is great, but for swarmlings at least it's okay. And swarmlings are one of my struggles. I don't need to do this right now. Kinda trying to save the bolt shots. I just leaked one. We're going to be leaking a bit. Kind of want to save the bolts for this and this. But I kind of should just be using them too. There's still two swarmlings coming. That's a mistake. I was really hoping I was going to kill that one. Use up your fourth shot. Slow these. Why would I build an amplifier over here if I'm eventually moving my gem? That's stupid. Could actually be significant. I'm tempted to restart just because of that. I think this is going to come down to it enough. I'm already 30 minutes in. I should break this up into two videos. Alright. So, with that in mind, 
Where do I want my big tower? Oh, maybe I should have looked at this first. There isn't a good spot for one over here. There is if it's not fully amplified. Maybe all but one amplifier is good enough. Right here would be all but... No, that's all but three. Nope. I think it would have to be like right here. I kind of like that spot. Kind of don't. Is that enough range to cover this side? I think it is. There will still be two paths coming through there. I shouldn't have restarted. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay. My bad. I think this is the best place to build after all. Okay, I'm wasting people's time. Sorry about that. I might shift it slightly to be where this is the main gem. I could do that. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Oops. Okay. If I restarted anyways... <laughs> then this time... Let's actually combine up with more parts yellow than red. This should do more damage, I believe. It won't have as much of a multiplier, but we're trying to one-shot enemies. Okay, I don't want this video to be an hour long. Next time, we're doing this. I'm going to play it kind of slow, kind of careful, hopefully, and try and win. Yeah. That does it for this video. Next time, we're going to beat this level. It's going to happen. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.